Dr. Jones, uh, a lot of people, at least I do, you know, sometimes we're a little confused about veneer and luminear. What is the difference there? To me, they're all clip-on fingernails, clip-on tooth nails, I guess. <laughs> uh, but th th tell us what's the difference. Is, is that something us patients need to worry about it at all in terms of the difference? Well, Yeah, certainly that, that Luminaire has been um, advertised a lot to, to the public. And, and Luminaire is a, is a term that's been coined by the Denmet company to indicate a very, very thin porcelain veneer. And to be quite honest with you, Helmet, thin porcelain veneers have been around a very, very long time. But it was the Denmet company who actually coined the phrase Luminaire. And, and good for them because, you know, they've, they've got people talking about what could be possible with dentistry. And um, whether you choose to use the actual Denmat product as a luminaire or you choose to use a different thin uh, porcelain veneer, uh, um, the end result is the, the satisfaction for the patient and, and how, how beautiful their, their smile can be. So both a luminaire or a veneer... Uh, do the same thing. They kind of like make the tooth from the outside looking the way you, in combination with the dentist, yes. want to look it. Um, a luminaire and, is a veneer. Okay. A, a luminaire is a veneer. Yeah. So, so it's what just a is, generic term. What is the advantage of a very very thin veneer, if there is an advantage? Sure. There must the, be one, otherwise, otherwise a large company wouldn't, wouldn't make such a dadar out of making it. Yeah. Well, it's very careful to, to go through the pros and cons of, of any dental procedure with a patient, but certainly with Lumineers. Uh, Lumineer is not uh, um, the right choice for some patients. So, so the selection of the patient is very, very important. Um, but the advantage is that very little, maybe no, um, tooth structure has to be removed at all. So when they say no drilling, you use the term, the, the, the clip on nails, and, and in reality, that's exactly what it is. It's a very thin, very strong procedure that can be done with no removal of any of your own tooth structure, no drilling on your teeth at all. And that's what, what the Lumineer has brought to the table. And we can do that with any kind of porcelain But the, the term luminaire essentially means very thin, minimal to no tooth preparation at all. I see. So you don't need to grind the tooth down, which some people and, in, and most of you dentists agree. If you don't have to do it, don't do it. Because it's don't like in the old days, my father would yell at me when I put my knife to a tree and, and, and carve my name in it or something like that. He would say, come on, you, 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 no matter what, you're hurting that tree. And a similar way, once you, once you grind a tooth, that is the potential uh, that it gets a shock and then down the road, a year, two, whatever, because of it, so to say, the root starts dying and then the tooth needs to be replaced well, because of no, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. I, you okay. know, I think that, that the reason is, is just if you don't have to remove your own natural enamel, then don't do it. Um, not, we're not trying to avoid Uh, potential problems because there are lots of times when when people have have a lot of their dental enamel removed but it's necessary and and these problems that you just mentioned don't happen then so it's not to avoid those problems it's just if you don't have to don't do it keep what's natural natural and and add to it where you need to add to it but if you don't have to remove enamel then just plain don't do it yeah. Even though you actually cover that enamel and it's never seen anymore because the veneer goes over it. <laughs> right, right. Okay. But anyway, I'm sure lots of people, including me, I'm, I'm, I assume if, if that would happen, if, if I qualify for a very thin veneer and the doctor tells me we don't need to grind it down, I probably say, that's good. Not because of that. I want to keep the manual, simply because I don't want to have that little grinder around my tooth. Right. I mean, in itself. Right. Probably that means it can be done without an injection in many cases if you don't yes. need to grind, right? Yes. So that must be some advantages, but that's yes. basically it. And, and, and so let me, you know, just, just a little bit of like lumineers and veneers 
Uh, most people think that they're used for, uh, you know, tooth which are very bad looking, chipped and, and etc., which is obviously true. Teeth which are too small or stuff like that, or for that much too big. You grind them and you put a nice, uh, uh, you know, uh, veneer over it and make them again the way you want them. Uh, you match colors. But also, uh, sometimes people who, let's say, have a couple, two, three crooked teeth in their mouth, they don't want to wear braces uh, or, or, or Invisalign's um, for or whatever it is, a half a year, year, two years, uh, sometimes they have their teeth grinded, readjusted, and boom, you, you put that luminous veneer on it and make it good looking overnight rather than over a year's time. Is that correct? Is that a use for luminous and veneers they, also? Yes, they, they call that instant, yes, they call that instant orthodontics. Okay. And instant orthodontics is, is where you do just that. You know, you might reshape them just slightly, um, trim them here or there, and have some lumineers or some thin veneers made, and, and within a very short time can, can uh, um, put those in place, and it looks like they've had braces for two years, and their teeth come out beautiful. But changing the colors of the teeth, often darker teeth or more yellow teeth, can be lightened with, with lumineers or veneers. Um, teeth that are too small or you have big gaps in between your teeth can be enhanced with lumineers. The spaces can be closed. Chip teeth, often, you know, someone will have an accident and chip a tooth and the, the filling material gets yellow or dark. Um, or if somebody unfortunately has had to have a root canal and they've had a, a dark tooth, lots of reasons why a tooth met, might have a darkened, um, and those can all be enhanced. The colors of those teeth can be enhanced with lumineers or veneers, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you could get a chipped tooth not wearing a snoring device and snoring and your wife uh, uh, kind of punching you and say, you snore again, you know, and then next thing you know is you have a chipped tooth. Uh, well, that's right. possible. <laughs> yeah, it's all possible. Well, thanks um, uh, to enlighten us here about uh, Lumine and Veneer, really for all purpose the same, and I guess as patients, we really shouldn't have to worry too much. The dentist will make the decision which one is... Uh, 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 more appropriate for a particular situation. Is that is that correct assumption? A absolutely, absolutely. It's always good to ask, and and again, it goes to risk and benefits. And and if the benefit for veneers or lumineers are are uh, what is is the best for you, then that's exactly the road that you should go. And if there's another treatment choice that's better, um, then then that's the choice that should be made. But um, you bet, uh, just. Whatever's healthiest for you in the end is what we should decide. Thank you very much again.